Life's not fair, is it? You see, I, well, I will never be king. And you shall never see the light of another day. <laughs> At you. Did your mother ever tell you not to play with your food? What do you want? I'm here to announce that King Mufasa's on his way. So you better have a good excuse for missing the ceremony this morning. Oh no, look, Sazi, you made me lose my lunch. Ha! You'll lose more than that when the king gets through with you. He's as mad as a hippo with a hernia. Ooh, I quiver with fear! Now, Scar, don't look at me that way! Help! Scar! <laughs> If it isn't my big brother descending from all height to mingle with the commoners. Sarabi and I didn't see you at the presentation of Simba. That was today? Oh, I feel simply awful. Must have slipped my mind. Yes, well, as slippery as your mind is, as the king's brother, you should have been first in line. Well, I was first in line until the little hairball was born. And that hairball is my son. Your future king. Oh, I shall practice my curtsy. Don't turn your back on me, Scar. Oh no, Mufasa. Perhaps you should turn your back on me. Is that a challenge? Temper, temper. I wouldn't dream of challenging you. Pity. Why not? Well, as far as brains go, I got the lion's share, but when it comes to brute strength, uh, I'm afraid I'm at a shallow end of the gene. There's one in every family, sir. Two in mine, actually. And they always manage to ruin special occasions. What am I going to do with him? He'd make a very handsome throw rug. Sazu! And just think, whenever he gets dirty, you could take him out and beat him. 